Atlanta is the capital of, and the most populous city in, the U.S. state of Georgia. With an estimated 2017 population of 486,290, it is also the 39th most populous city in the United States. The city serves as the cultural and economic center of the Atlanta metropolitan area, home to 5.8 million people and the ninth largest metropolitan area in the nation. Atlanta is the seat of Fulton County, the most populous county in Georgia. A small portion of the city extends eastward into neighboring DeKalb County. Atlanta was founded as a transportation hub at the intersection of two railroad lines in 1837. After being mostly burned to the ground during the American Civil War, the city rose from its ashes to become a national center of commerce and the unofficial capital of the New South. During the 1950s and 1960s, Atlanta became a major organizing center of the civil rights movement, with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Ralph David Abernathy, and many other locals playing major roles in the movement's leadership. In the decades following, the city earned a reputation as too busy to hate for the relatively progressive views of its citizens and leaders compared to other cities in the Deep South. During the modern era, Atlanta has attained international prominence as a major air transportation hub, with Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport being the world's busiest airport by passenger traffic since 1998. Atlanta is rated as a beta plus world city that exerts a moderate impact on global commerce, finance, research, technology, education, media, art, and entertainment. It ranks in the top 20 among world cities and 10th in the nation with a gross domestic product GDP of $385 billion. Atlanta's economy is considered diverse, with dominant sectors that include transportation, logistics, professional and business services, media operations, medical services, and information technology. Atlanta has topographic features that include rolling hills and dense tree coverage, earning it the nickname of the city in a forest. Revitalization of Atlanta's neighborhoods, initially spurred by the 1996 Summer Olympics, has intensified in the 21st century, altering the city's demographics, politics, and culture. History Native American settlements Prior to the arrival of European settlers in North Georgia, Creek Indians inhabited the area. Standing Peachtree, a creek village located where Peachtree Creek flows into the Chattahoochee River, was the closest Indian settlement to what is now Atlanta. As part of the systematic removal of Native Americans from northern Georgia from 1802 to 1825, the Creek were forced to leave the area in 1821, and white settlers arrived the following year. Western and Atlantic Railroad In 1836, the Georgia General Assembly voted to build the Western and Atlantic Railroad in order to provide a link between the Port of Savannah and the Midwest. The initial route was to run southward from Chattanooga to a terminus east of the Chattahoochee River, which would then be linked to Savannah. After engineers surveyed various possible locations for the terminus, the Zero Milepost was driven into the ground in what is now Five Points. A year later, the area around the milepost had developed into a settlement, first known as Terminus, and later as Thrasherville, after a local merchant who built homes and a general store in the area. By 1842, the town had six buildings and 30 residents and was renamed Marthasville to honor the governor's daughter. Later, J. Edgar Thompson, chief engineer of the Georgia Railroad, suggested the town be renamed. Atlantica Pacifica, which was shortened to Atlanta. The residents approved, and the town was incorporated as Atlanta on December 29, 1847. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Civil War. By 1860, Atlanta's population had grown to 9,554. During the American Civil War, the nexus of multiple railroads in Atlanta made the city a hub for the distribution of military supplies. In 1864, the Union Army moved southward following the capture of Chattanooga and began its invasion of North Georgia. 
The region surrounding Atlanta was the location of several major army battles, culminating with the Battle of Atlanta and a four-month-long siege of the city by the Union Army under the command of General William Tecumseh Sherman. On September 1, 1864, Confederate General John Bell Hood made the decision to retreat from Atlanta, and he ordered the destruction of all public buildings and possible assets that could be of use to the Union Army. On the next day, Mayor James Calhoun surrendered Atlanta to the Union Army, and on September 7, Sherman ordered the city's civilian population to evacuate. On November 11, 1864, Sherman prepared for the Union Army's march to the sea by ordering the destruction of Atlanta's remaining military assets. Rebuilding the city After the Civil War ended in 1865, Atlanta was gradually rebuilt. Due to the city's superior rail transportation network, the state capital was moved from Milledgeville to Atlanta in 1868. In the 1880 census, Atlanta surpassed Savannah as Georgia's largest city. Beginning in the 1880s, Henry W. Grady, the editor of the Atlanta Constitution newspaper, promoted Atlanta to potential investors as a city of the New South that would be based upon a modern economy and less reliant on agriculture. By 1885, the founding of the Georgia School of Technology now Georgia Tech and the Atlanta University Center had established Atlanta as a center for higher education. In 1895, Atlanta hosted the Cotton States and International Exposition, which attracted nearly 800,000 attendees and successfully promoted the New South's development to the world. Beginning of the 20th century During the first decades of the 20th century, Atlanta experienced a period of unprecedented growth. In three decades' time, Atlanta's population tripled as the city limits expanded to include nearby streetcar suburbs. The city's skyline emerged with the construction of the Equitable, Flatiron, Empire, and Candler buildings, and Sweet Auburn emerged as a center of black commerce. The period was also marked by strife and tragedy. Increased racial tensions led to the Atlanta Race Riot of 1906, which left at least 27 people dead and over 70 injured. In 1913, Leo Frank, a Jewish-American factory superintendent, was convicted of the murder of a 13-year-old girl in a highly publicized trial most see as having been deeply tainted by antisemitism. He was hanged in Marietta by a lynch mob in 1915 after having his death sentence commuted, an event which deeply impacted the Jewish community in Atlanta and across the country, and was part of what sparked the revival of the Ku Klux Klan. On May 21, 1917, the Great Atlanta Fire destroyed 1,938 buildings in what is now the Old Fourth Ward, resulting in one fatality and the displacement of 10,000 people. On December 15, 1939, Atlanta hosted the premiere of Gone with the Wind, the epic film based on the best selling novel by Atlanta's Margaret Mitchell. The gala event at Lowe's Grand Theatre was attended by the film's legendary producer, David O. Selznick, and the film's stars Clark Gable, Vivian Lee, and Olivia de Havilland, but Oscar winner Hattie McDaniel, an African-American actress, was barred from the event due to racial segregation laws and policies. <laughs> Metropolitan areas growth Atlanta played a vital role in the Allied effort during World War II due to the city's war-related manufacturing companies, railroad network and military bases, leading to rapid population and economic growth. In the 1950s, the city's newly constructed highway system allowed middle-class Atlantans the ability to relocate to the suburbs. As a result, the city began to make up an ever smaller proportion of the metropolitan area's population. Topic. Civil rights movement During the 1960s, Atlanta was a major organizing center of the civil rights movement, with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Ralph David Abernathy, and students from Atlanta's historically black colleges and universities playing major roles in the movement's leadership. While minimal compared to other cities, Atlanta was not free of racial strife. In 1961, the city attempted to thwart blockbusting by erecting road barriers in Cascade Heights, countering the efforts of civic and business leaders to foster Atlanta as the city too busy to hate. 
Desegregation of the public sphere came in stages, with public transportation desegregated by 1959, the restaurant at Rich's department store by 1961, movie theaters by 1963, and public schools by 1973. In 1960, whites comprised 61.7% of the city's population. During the 1950s to 70s, white flight from urban areas led to a significant demographic shift. By 1970, African Americans were a majority of the city's population and exercised newfound political influence by electing Atlanta's first black mayor, Maynard Jackson, in 1973. Under Mayor Jackson's tenure, Atlanta's airport was modernized, solidifying the city's role as a transportation center. The opening of the Georgia World Congress Center in 1976 heralded Atlanta's rise as a convention city. Construction of the city's subway system began in 1975, with rail service commencing in 1979. Despite these improvements, Atlanta lost over 100,000 residents between 1970 and 1990, over 20% of its population. Topic. 1996 Summer Olympic Games Atlanta was selected as the site for the 1996 Summer Olympic Games. Following the announcement, the city government undertook several major construction projects to improve Atlanta's parks, sporting venues, and transportation infrastructure. While the games themselves were marred by numerous organizational inefficiencies as well as the Centennial Olympic Park bombing, the spectacle was a watershed event in Atlanta's history that initiated a fundamental transformation of the city in the decade that followed. 2000. Recent history During the 2000s, Atlanta underwent a profound physical, cultural, and demographic transformation. Suburbanization, a booming economy, and new migrants decreased the city's black percentage from a high of 67% in 1990 to 54% in 2010. From 2000 to 2010, Atlanta gained 22,763 white residents, 5,142 Asian residents, and 3,095 Hispanic residents, while the city's black population decreased by 31,678. Much of the city's demographic change during the decade was driven by young, college educated professionals. From 2000 to 2009, the three mile radius surrounding downtown Atlanta gained 9,722 residents aged 25 to 34 holding at least a four year degree, an increase of 61%. Between the mid-1990s and 2010, stimulated by funding from the Hope V program, Atlanta demolished nearly all of its public housing, a total of 17,000 units and about 10% of all housing units in the city. In 2005, the $2.8 billion Beltline project was adopted, with the stated goals of converting a disused 22-mile freight railroad loop that surrounds the central city into an art-filled multi-use trail and increasing the city's park space by 40%. Atlanta's cultural offerings expanded during the 2000s, the High Museum of Art doubled in size, the Alliance Theater won a Tony Award, and art galleries were established on the once industrial west side. Geography <laughs> 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 Atlanta encompasses 134.0 square miles, 347.1 square kilometers, of which 133.2 square miles, 344.9 square kilometers is land and 0.85 square miles, 2.2 square kilometers is water. The city is situated among the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. At 1050 feet (320 meters) above mean sea level, Atlanta has one of the highest elevations among major cities east of the Mississippi River. Atlanta straddles the Eastern Continental Divide, such that rainwater that falls on the south and east side of the divide flows into the Atlantic Ocean, while rainwater on the north and west side of the divide flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Atlanta sits atop a ridge south of the Chattahoochee River, which is part of the ACF River Basin. Located at the far northwestern edge of the city, much of the river's natural habitat is preserved, in part by the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area. <laughs> Cityscape 
Most of Atlanta was burned during the Civil War, depleting the city of a large stock of its historic architecture. Yet architecturally, the city had never been traditionally southern, because Atlanta originated as a railroad town, rather than a patrician southern seaport like Savannah or Charleston. Many of the city's landmarks share architectural characteristics with buildings in the Northeast or Midwest. During the Cold War era, Atlanta embraced global modernist trends, especially regarding commercial and institutional architecture. Examples of modernist architecture include the 1,196,240 square foot (111,134 square meters) Weston Peachtree Plaza (1976), Georgia Pacific Tower (1982), the State of Georgia Building (1966), and the Atlanta Marriott Marquis (1985). In the latter half of the 1980s, Atlanta became one of the early adopters of postmodern designs that reintroduced classical elements to the cityscape. Many of Atlanta's tallest skyscrapers were built in the late 1980s and early 1990s, with most displaying tapering spires or otherwise ornamented crowns, such as the 1,187,676 square foot (110,338.7 square meters) One Atlantic Center (1987), 191 Peachtree Tower (1991), and the Four Seasons Hotel Atlanta (1992). Also completed during the era is Atlanta's tallest skyscraper, the Bank of America Plaza 1992, which, at 1,023 feet 312 meters, is the 61st tallest building in the world and the 14th tallest building in the United States. The Bank of America Plaza is the tallest building outside of New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, and was the last building built in the United States to be in the top 10 tallest buildings in the world until one World Trade Center was completed externally in May 2013. The city's embrace of modern architecture translated into an ambivalent approach toward historic preservation, leading to the destruction of notable architectural landmarks, including the Equitable Building (1892–1971), Terminal Station (1905–1972), and the Carnegie Library (1902–1977). The Fox Theater (1929), Atlanta's cultural icon would have met the same fate had it not been for a grassroots effort to save it in the mid 1970s Atlanta is divided into 242 officially defined neighborhoods The city contains 3 major high-rise districts which form a north-south axis along Peachtree Downtown Midtown and Buckhead Surrounding these high-density districts are leafy low-density neighborhoods most of which are dominated by single-family homes Downtown Atlanta contains the most office space in the metro area much of it occupied by government entities Downtown is home to the city's sporting venues and many of its tourist attractions Midtown Atlanta is the city's second largest business district containing the offices of many of the region's law firms Midtown is known for its art institutions, cultural attractions, institutions of higher education, and dense form. Buckhead, the city's uptown district, is 8 miles 13 kilometers north of downtown and the city's third largest business district. The district is marked by an urbanized core along Peachtree Road, surrounded by suburban single-family neighborhoods situated among dense forests and rolling hills. Surrounding Atlanta's three high-rise districts are the city's low- and medium-density neighborhoods, where the Craftsman Bungalow single-family home is dominant. The east side is marked by historic streetcar suburbs built from the 1890s to 1930s as havens for the upper middle class. These neighborhoods, many of which contain their own villages encircled by shaded, architecturally distinct residential streets, include the Victorian Inman Park, Bohemian East Atlanta, and eclectic Old Fourth Ward. On the west side and along the Beltline on the east side, former warehouses and factories have been converted into housing, retail space, and art galleries, transforming the once industrial areas such as West Midtown into model neighborhoods for smart growth, historic rehabilitation, and infill construction. In southwest Atlanta, neighborhoods closer to downtown originated as streetcar suburbs, including the historic West End, while those farther from downtown retain a post-war suburban layout, including Collier Heights and Cascade Heights, home to much of the city's affluent African-American population. Northwest Atlanta contains the areas of the city to west of Marietta Boulevard and to the north of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, including those neighborhoods remote to downtown, such as Riverside, Bolton and Whittier Mill, which is one of Atlanta's designated landmark historical neighborhoods. 
Vine City, though technically northwest, adjoins the city's downtown area and has recently been the target of community outreach programs and economic development initiatives. Gentrification of the city's neighborhoods is one of the more controversial and transformative forces shaping contemporary Atlanta. The gentrification of Atlanta has its origins in the 1970s, after many of Atlanta's neighborhoods had undergone the urban decay that affected other major American cities in the mid 20th century. When neighborhood opposition successfully prevented two freeways from being built through cities the east side in 1975, the area became the starting point for Atlanta's gentrification. After Atlanta was awarded the Olympic Games in 1990, gentrification expanded into other parts of the city, stimulated by infrastructure improvements undertaken in preparation for the Games. Gentrification post-2000 has been aided by the Atlanta Housing Authority's eradication of the city's public housing and, more recently, the construction of the Beltline. <laughs> Climate Atlanta has a humid subtropical climate CFA, according to the Köppen classification, with the seasons more or less defined, although the winter has a shorter duration, with hot and humid summers and mild winters in some cases the outbreaks are cold, but susceptible to snowstorms even if in small quantities on several occasions unlike the rest of the southeastern United States. Winters are cool but variable, with an average of 48 freezing days per year and temperatures dropping to 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 17.8 degrees Celsius on rare occasions. Warm air from the Gulf of Mexico can bring spring-like highs while strong Arctic air masses can push lows into the teens degree F minus 7 to minus 12 degrees Celsius. July averages 80.2 degrees Fahrenheit .8 degrees Celsius, with high temperatures reaching 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius on an average 44 days per year, The 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius readings are not seen most years. January averages 43.5 degrees Fahrenheit 6.4 degrees Celsius, with temperatures in the suburbs slightly cooler due largely to the urban heat island effect. Lows at or below freezing can be expected 40 nights annually, but extended stretches with daily high temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit 4 degrees Celsius are very rare, with a recent exception in January 2014. Extremes range from -9 degrees Fahrenheit -23 degrees Celsius on February 13, 1899 to 106 degrees Fahrenheit 41 degrees Celsius on June 30, 2012. Average dew points in the summer range from 63.6 degrees Fahrenheit 18 degrees Celsius in June to 67.8 degrees Fahrenheit 20 degrees Celsius in July. Typical of the southeastern U.S., Atlanta receives abundant rainfall that is evenly distributed throughout the year, though spring and early fall are markedly drier. The average annual rainfall is 50.2 inches millimeters, while snowfall is typically light at around 2.9 to 5 inches per year. The heaviest single snowfall occurred on January 23, 1940, with around 10 inches centimeters of snow. However, ice storms usually cause more problems than snowfall does, the most severe occurring on January 7, 1973. Tornadoes are rare in the city itself, but the March 14, 2008 EF2 tornado damaged prominent structures in downtown Atlanta. Demographics The 2010 United States Census reported that Atlanta had a population of 420,003. The population density was 3,154 per square miles 1,232 per square kilometers. The racial makeup and population of Atlanta was 54.0% black or African American, 38.4% white, 3.1% Asian and 0.2% Native American. Those from some other race made up 2.2% of the city's population, while those from two or more races made up 2.0%. Hispanics of any race made up 5.2% of the city's population. The median income for a household in the city was $45,171. The per capita income for the city was $35,453.22.6% percent of the population was living below the poverty line. 
Atlanta has one of the highest LGBT populations per capita, ranking third among major American cities, behind San Francisco and slightly behind Seattle, with 12.8% of the city's total population identifying as gay, lesbian, or bisexual. 7.3% of Atlantans were born abroad 86th in the U.S. In the 2010 census, Atlanta was recorded as the nation's fourth-largest majority black city. It has long been known as a center of African-American political power, education, and culture, often called a black mecca. African-American residents of Atlanta have followed whites to newer housing in the suburbs in the early 21st century. From 2000 to 2010, the city's black population decreased by 31,678 people, shrinking from 61.4% of the city's population in 2000 to 54.0% in 2010. At the same time, the white population of Atlanta has increased. Between 2000 and 2010, the proportion of whites in the city's population grew faster than that of any other U.S. city. In that decade, Atlanta's white population grew from 31% to 38% of the city's population, an absolute increase of 22,753 people, more than triple the increase that occurred between 1990 and 2000. Out of the total population five years and older, 83.3% spoke only English at home, while 8.8% spoke Spanish, 3.9% another Indo European language, and 2.8% an Asian language. Atlanta's dialect has traditionally been a variation of Southern American English. The Chattahoochee River long formed a border between the coastal Southern and Southern Appalachian dialects. Because of the development of corporate headquarters in the region, attracting migrants from other areas of the country, by 2003, Atlanta Magazine concluded that Atlanta had become significantly de-southernized. A Southern accent was considered a handicap in some circumstances. In general, southern accents are less prevalent among residents of the city and inner suburbs and among younger people, they are more common in the outer suburbs and among older people. At the same time, some residents of the city express southern variations of African American English. Religion in Atlanta, while historically centered on Protestant Christianity, now involves many faiths as a result of the city and metro area's increasingly international population. Protestant Christianity still maintains a strong presence in the city 63%, but in recent decades the Catholic Church has increased in numbers and influence because of new migrants in the region. Metro Atlanta also has numerous ethnic or national Christian congregations, including Korean and Indian churches. The larger non-Christian faiths are Judaism, Islam and Hinduism. Overall, there are over 1,000 places of worship within Atlanta. Topic economy With a GDP of $385 billion, the Atlanta metropolitan area's economy is the 10th largest in the country and among the top 20 largest in the world. Corporate operations play a major role in Atlanta's economy, as the city claims the nation's third largest concentration of Fortune 500 companies. It also hosts the global headquarters of corporations like the Coca-Cola Company, the Home Depot, Delta Air Lines, AT&T Mobility, Chick-fil-A, and UPS. Over 75% of Fortune 1000 companies conduct business operations in the city's metro area, and the region hosts offices of over 1,250 multinational corporations. Many corporations are drawn to the city by its educated workforce. As of 2014, 45% of adults aged 25 or older residing in the city have at least four year college degrees, compared to the national average of 28%. Atlanta started as a railroad town, and logistics has been a major component of the city's economy to this day. Atlanta serves as an important rail junction and contains major classification yards for Norfolk Southern and CSX. Since its construction in the 1950s, Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport has served as a key engine of the city's economic growth. Delta Air Lines, the city's largest employer and the metro area's third largest, operates the world's largest airline hub at Hartsfield-Jackson, and it has helped make it the world's busiest airport, in terms of both passenger traffic and aircraft operations. Partly due to the airport, Atlanta has been also a hub for diplomatic missions. As of 2017, the city contains 26 consulates general, the seventh highest concentration of diplomatic missions in the U.S. Media is also an important aspect of Atlanta's economy. In fact, the city is even a major cable television programming center. 
Ted Turner established the headquarters of both the Cable News Network CNN and the Turner Broadcasting System TBS in the city. Cox Enterprises, the nation's third largest cable television service and the publisher of over a dozen American newspapers, is headquartered in the city. The Weather Channel is headquartered just outside of Atlanta in suburban Cobb County. Information technology, a business sector that includes publishing, software development, entertainment and data processing, has garnered a larger percentage of Atlanta's economic output. Atlanta has, indeed, been nicknamed the Silicon Peach thanks to its burgeoning technology sector. As of 2013, Atlanta contains the fourth largest concentration of information technology jobs in the U.S., numbering 85,000 plus. The city also is ranked as the sixth fastest growing community for information technology jobs, with an employment growth of 4.8% in 2012 and a three year growth near 9%, or 16,000 jobs. Information technology companies are drawn to Atlanta's lower costs and educated workforce. Recently, Atlanta has been a center for film and television production, largely because of the Georgia Entertainment Industry Investment Act, which awards qualified productions a transferable income tax credit of 20% of all in state costs for film and television investments of $500,000 or more. Film and television production facilities based in Atlanta include Turner Studios, Pinewood Studios, Pinewood Atlanta, Tyler Perry Studios, Williams Street Productions, and the EUE Screen Gems Soundstages. Film and television production injected $9.5 billion into Georgia's economy in 2017, with Atlanta garnering most of the projects. As a result, by the following year, Atlanta emerged as one of the all-time most popular destinations for film production globally. Compared to other American cities, Atlanta's economy in the past had been disproportionately affected by the 2008 financial crisis and the subsequent recession, with the city's economy earning a ranking of 68 among 100 American cities in a September 2014 report due to an elevated unemployment rate, declining real income levels, and a depressed housing market. From 2010 to 2011, Atlanta saw a 0.9% contraction in employment and plateauing income growth at 0.4%. Although unemployment had decreased to 7% by late 2014, this was still higher than the national unemployment rate of 5.8%. Atlanta's housing market has also struggled, with home prices dropping by 2.1% in January 2012, reaching levels not seen since 1996. Compared with a year earlier, the average home price in Atlanta plummeted to 17.3% in February 2012, thus becoming the largest annual drop in the history of the index for any American or global city. The decline in home prices prompted some economists to deem Atlanta the worst housing market in the nation at the height of the Depression. Nevertheless, the city's real estate market has resurged since 2012, so much that median home value and rent growth significantly outpaced the national average by 2018, thanks to a rapidly growing regional economy. Culture Atlanta has a dynamic, distinctly southern, culture. This is due to a large population of migrants from other parts of the U.S., in addition to many recent immigrants to the U.S. who have made the metropolitan area their home, establishing Atlanta as the cultural and economic hub of an increasingly multicultural metropolitan area. Thus, although traditional Southern culture is part of Atlanta's cultural fabric, it is mostly the backdrop to one of the nation's most cosmopolitan cities. This unique cultural combination reveals itself in the arts district of Midtown, the quirky neighborhoods on the city's east side, and the multi-ethnic enclaves found along Buford Highway. Arts and theater Atlanta is one of few United States cities with permanent, professional, and resident companies in all major performing arts disciplines, opera Atlanta Opera, ballet Atlanta Ballet, orchestral music Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, and theater the Alliance Theater. Atlanta attracts many touring Broadway acts, concerts, shows, and exhibitions catering to a variety of interests. Atlanta's Performing Arts District is concentrated in Midtown Atlanta at the Woodruff Arts Center, which is home to the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra and the Alliance Theater. 
The city frequently hosts touring Broadway acts, especially at the Fox Theater, a historic landmark that is among the highest grossing theaters of its size. As a national center for the arts, Atlanta is home to significant art museums and institutions. The renowned High Museum of Art is arguably the South's leading art museum and among the most visited art museums in the world. The Museum of Design Atlanta Moda and the SCAD Fash Museum of Fashion Plus Film are the only such museums in the Southeast. Contemporary art museums include the Atlanta Contemporary Art Center and the Museum of Contemporary Art of Georgia. Institutions of higher education contribute to Atlanta's art scene, with the Savannah College of Art and Design's Atlanta campus providing the city's arts community with a steady stream of curators, and Emory University's Michael C. Carlos Museum containing the largest collection of ancient art in the Southeast. Atlanta has become one of the USA's best cities for street art in recent years. It is home to Living Walls, an annual street art conference and the Outer Space Project, an annual event series that merges public art, live music, design, action sports, and culture. Examples of street art in Atlanta can be found on the Atlanta Street Art Map. Topic music and film Atlanta has played a major or contributing role in the development of various genres of American music at different points in the city's history. Beginning as early as the 1920s, Atlanta emerged as a center for country music, which was brought to the city by migrants from Appalachia. During the countercultural 1960s, Atlanta hosted the Atlanta International Pop Festival, with the 1969 festival taking place more than a month before Woodstock and featuring many of the same bands. The city was also a center for Southern rock during its 1970s heyday. The Allman Brothers Band's hit instrumental Hot Atlanta is an ode to the city, while Leonard Skinner's famous live rendition of Free Bird was recorded at the Fox Theater in 1976, with lead singer Ronnie Van Zant directing the band to play it pretty for Atlanta. During the 1980s, Atlanta had an active punk rock scene that was centered on two of the city's music venues, 688 Club and the Metroplex, and Atlanta famously played host to the Sex Pistols' first U.S. show, which was performed at the Great Southeastern Music Hall. The 1990s saw the city produce major mainstream acts across many different musical genres. Country music artist Travis Tritt, and R&B sensations TLC, Usher and Tony Braxton, were just some of the musicians proud to call Atlanta home. The city also gave birth to Atlanta hip-hop, a subgenre that gained relevance and success with the introduction of the home-grown Atlians known as Outkast, along with other Dungeon family artists such as Organized Noise and Goody Mob. However, it was not until the 2000s that Atlanta moved from the margins to becoming hip-hop's center of gravity with another sub-genre called Crunk, part of a larger shift in hip-hop innovation to the South. Also in the 2000s, Atlanta was recognized by the Brooklyn-based Vice magazine for its indie rock scene, which revolves around the various live music venues found on the city's alternative east side. To facilitate further local development, the state government provides qualified businesses and productions a 15% transferable income tax credit for in state costs of music investments. As a national center for cinema and television production, Atlanta plays a significant role in the entertainment industry. It doubles for other parts of the world and fictional settlements in blockbuster productions, among them the newer titles from the Fast and the Furious franchise and Marvel features such as Ant-Man Captain America, Civil War 2016, Black Panther and Avengers, Infinity War both 2018. On the other hand, Gone with the Wind 1939, Smokey and the Bandit 1977, Sharky's Machine 1981, The Slugger's Wife 1985, Driving Miss Daisy 1989, ATL 2006, and Baby Driver 2017 are among several notable examples of films that are actually set in Atlanta. The city also provides the backdrop for shows such as The Walking Dead, Stranger Things, and Atlanta, in addition to a myriad of animated and reality television programming. Festivals Main festivals in Atlanta include Shaky Knees Music Festival, Dragon Con, the Peachtree Road Race, Music Midtown, the Atlanta Film Festival, National Black Arts Festival, Festival Peachtree Latino, Atlanta Pride, the Neighborhood Festivals in Inman Park and Virginia Highland Summerfest, and the Little Five Points Halloween Festival. Topic tourism As of 2010, Atlanta is the seventh most visited city in the United States, with over 35 million visitors per year. 
Although the most popular attraction among visitors to Atlanta is the Georgia Aquarium, the world's largest indoor aquarium, Atlanta's tourism industry is mostly driven by the city's history museums and outdoor attractions. Atlanta contains a notable amount of historical museums and sites, including the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site, which includes the preserved childhood home of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., as well as his final resting place, the Atlanta Cyclorama and Civil War Museum, which houses a massive painting and diorama in the round, with a rotating central audience platform, depicting the Battle of Atlanta in the Civil War, the world of Coca-Cola, featuring the history of the world-famous soft drink brand and its well-known advertising, the College Football Hall of Fame which honors college football and its athletes, the National Center for Civil and Human Rights, which explores the civil rights movement and its connection to contemporary human rights movements throughout the world, the Carter Center and Presidential Library, housing U.S. President Jimmy Carter's papers and other material relating to the Carter administration and the Carter family's life, and the Margaret Mitchell House and Museum, where Mitchell wrote the best-selling novel Gone with the Wind. Atlanta contains several outdoor attractions. The Atlanta Botanical Garden, adjacent to Piedmont Park, is home to the 600-foot-long Kendata Canopy Walk, a skywalk that allows visitors to tour one of the city's last remaining urban forests from 40-foot high 12 meters. The Canopy Walk is considered the only canopy-level pathway of its kind in the United States. Zoo Atlanta, located in Grant Park, accommodates over 1,300 animals representing more than 220 species. Home to the nation's largest collections of gorillas and orangutans, the zoo is one of only four zoos in the U.S. to house giant pandas. Festivals showcasing arts and crafts, film, and music, including the Atlanta Dogwood Festival, the Atlanta Film Festival, and Music Midtown, respectively, are also popular with tourists. Tourists are drawn to the city's culinary scene, which comprises a mix of urban establishments garnering national attention, ethnic restaurants serving cuisine from every corner of the world, and traditional eateries specializing in southern dining. Since the turn of the 21st century, Atlanta has emerged as a sophisticated restaurant town. Many restaurants opened in the city's gentrifying neighborhoods have received praise at the national level, including Bocado, Bacchanalia, and Miller Union in West Midtown, Empire State South in Midtown, and two urban licks and Rathbuns on the east side. In 2011, the New York Times characterized Empire State South and Miller Union as reflecting a new kind of sophisticated Southern sensibility centered on the farm but experienced in the city. Visitors seeking to sample international Atlanta are directed to Buford Highway, the city's international corridor, and suburban Gwinnett County. There, the nearly million immigrants that make Atlanta home have established various authentic ethnic restaurants representing virtually every nationality on the globe. For traditional Southern fare, one of the city's most famous establishments is the Varsity, a long-lived fast food chain and the world's largest drive-in restaurant. Mary Max Tea Room and Pascal's are more formal destinations for Southern food. <laughs> Sports Atlanta is home to professional franchises for four major team sports, the Atlanta Braves of Major League Baseball, the Atlanta Hawks of the National Basketball Association, the Atlanta Falcons of the National Football League, and Atlanta United FC of Major League Soccer. The Braves, who moved to Atlanta in 1966, were established as the Boston Red Stockings in 1871 and are the oldest continually operating professional sports franchise in the United States. The Braves won the World Series in 1995, and had an unprecedented run of 14 straight divisional championships from 1991 to 2005. The Braves have a new home as of 2017, having moved from Turner Field to SunTrust Park, which is located in the Atlanta metropolitan area 10 miles 16 kilometers northwest of downtown Atlanta in Cumberland, Galleria, Georgia. The Atlanta Falcons have played in Atlanta since their inception in 1966. The Falcons have won the division title six times 1980, 1998, 2004, 2010, 2012, 2016 and the NFC Championship twice in 1998 and 2016. However, they have been unsuccessful in both of their Super Bowl trips so far, losing to the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 33 in 1999 and to the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 51 in 2017. The Atlanta Hawks began in 1946 as the Tri-Cities Blackhawks, playing in Moline, Illinois. 
The team moved to Atlanta in 1968, and they currently play their games in Phillips Arena. The Atlanta Dream is the city's Women's National Basketball Association franchise. Professional soccer has been played in some form in Atlanta since 1967. Atlanta's first professional soccer team was the Atlanta Chiefs of the original North American Soccer League, which won the 1968 NASL Championship and defeated English First Division club Manchester City FC twice in international friendlies. In 1998 another professional soccer team was formed, the Atlanta Silverbacks of the new North American Soccer League, which now plays as an amateur club in the National Premier Soccer League. In 2014, Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank founded Atlanta United FC as Atlanta's first Premier Division professional soccer club since the Chiefs. Atlanta United has broken the MLS single game attendance record in both the regular season and the playoffs, the single game attendance record of the U.S. Open Cup, and the all time record for highest season average attendance of any first division club in the United States. The club is estimated by Forbes to be the most valuable club in Major League Soccer. Atlanta has had its own professional ice hockey franchises, both of which relocated after playing in Atlanta less than 15 years. The National Hockey League NHL has had two Atlanta franchises. The Atlanta Flames began play in 1972 before moving to Calgary in 1980, while the Atlanta Thrashers began play in 1999 before moving to Winnipeg in 2011. Atlanta also has an alliance of American football team, the Atlanta Legends, which will play in 2019. On August 2, 2018, it was announced that Atlanta would have its own Overwatch League team, Atlanta Reign. Atlanta has been the host city for various international, professional and collegiate sporting events, most famously the centennial 1996 Summer Olympics. Atlanta hosted Super Bowl XXVIII in 1994 and Super Bowl XXXIV in 2000. It will host again in 2019. In professional golf, the Tour Championship, the final PGA Tour event of the season, is played annually at East Lake Golf Club. In 2001 and 2011, Atlanta hosted the PGA Championship, one of the four major championships in men's professional golf, at the Atlanta Athletic Club. In professional ice hockey, the city hosted the 56th NHL All-Star Game in 2008, three years before the Thrashers moved. In 2011, Atlanta hosted professional wrestling's annual WrestleMania. The city has hosted the NCAA Final Four Men's Basketball Championship four times, most recently in 2013. In college football, Atlanta hosts the Chick-fil-A kickoff game, the SEC Championship game, and the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Running is a popular local sport, and the city declares itself to be Running City USA. The city hosts the Peachtree Road Race, the world's largest 10 kilometers race, annually on Independence Day. Atlanta also hosts the nation's largest Thanksgiving Day half marathon, which starts and ends at Georgia State Stadium. The Atlanta Marathon, which starts and ends at Centennial Olympic Park, routes through many of the city's historic landmarks, and its 2020 running will coincide with the U.S. Olympic Marathon Trials for the 2020 Summer Olympics. <laughs> Parks and Recreation Atlanta's 343 parks, nature preserves, and gardens cover 3,622 acres 14.66 square kilometers, which amounts to only 5.6% of the city's total acreage, compared to the national average of just over 10%. However, 64% of Atlantans live within a 10-minute walk of a park, a percentage equal to the national average. In its 2013 Park Score ranking, the Trust for Public Land reported that among the park systems of the 50 most populous U.S. cities, Atlanta's park system received a ranking of 31. Piedmont Park, located in Midtown, is Atlanta's most iconic green space. The park, which underwent a major renovation and expansion in recent years, attracts visitors from across the region and hosts cultural events throughout the year. Other notable city parks include Centennial Olympic Park, a legacy of the 1996 Summer Olympics that forms the centerpiece of the city's tourist district, Woodruff Park, which anchors the campus of Georgia State University, Grant Park, home to Zoo Atlanta, Chastain Park, which houses an amphitheater used for live music concerts, and the currently under construction Westside Park at Bellwood Quarry, the 280-acre green space and reservoir project slated to become the city's largest park when fully complete in the 2020s. 
The Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area, located in the northwestern corner of the city, preserves a 48 miles stretch of the river for public recreation opportunities. The Atlanta Botanical Garden, adjacent to Piedmont Park, contains formal gardens, including a Japanese garden and a rose garden, woodland areas, and a conservatory that includes indoor exhibits of plants from tropical rainforests and deserts. The Beltline, a former rail corridor that forms a 22 miles loop around Atlanta's core, has been transformed into a series of parks, connected by a multi use trail, increasing Atlanta's park space by 40%. Atlanta offers resources and opportunities for amateur and participatory sports and recreation. Golf and tennis are popular in Atlanta, and the city contains six public golf courses and 182 tennis courts. Facilities located along the Chattahoochee River cater to water sports enthusiasts, providing the opportunity for kayaking, canoeing, fishing, boating, or tubing. The city's only skate park, a 15,000 square feet (1,400 square meters) facility that offers bowls, curbs, and smooth rolling concrete mounds, is located at historic Fourth Ward Park. Topic: <laughs> Government and Politics. Atlanta is governed by a mayor and the Atlanta City Council. The City Council consists of 15 representatives—one from each of the city's 12 districts and three at-large positions. The mayor may veto a bill passed by the council, but the council can override the veto with a two-thirds majority. The mayor of Atlanta is Keisha Lance Bottoms, a Democrat elected on a nonpartisan ballot whose first term in office began on January 2, 2018. Every mayor elected since 1973 has been black. In 2001, Shirley Franklin became the first woman to be elected mayor of Atlanta, and the first African-American woman to serve as mayor of a major southern city. Atlanta city politics suffered from a notorious reputation for corruption during the 1990s administration of Mayor Bill Campbell, who was convicted by a federal jury in 2006 on three counts of tax evasion in connection with gambling winnings during trips he took with city contractors. As the state capital, Atlanta is the site of most of Georgia's state government. The Georgia State Capitol Building, located downtown, houses the offices of the governor, lieutenant governor, and secretary of state, as well as the General Assembly. The governor's mansion is located in a residential section of Buckhead. Atlanta serves as the regional hub for many arms of the federal bureaucracy, including the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Atlanta also plays an important role in federal judiciary system, containing the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit and of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Georgia. Historically, Atlanta has been a stronghold for the Democratic Party. Although municipal elections are officially nonpartisan, nearly all of the city's elected officials are registered Democrats. The city is split among 14 state House districts and four state Senate districts, all held by Democrats. At the federal level, Atlanta is split between two congressional districts. Most of the northern portion of the city is located in the 5th District, represented by Democrat John Lewis. The southern fourth is in the 13th District, represented by Democrat David Scott. A sliver in the north is in the 11th district, represented by Republican Barry Loudermilk. The city is served by the Atlanta Police Department, which numbers 2,000 officers and oversaw a 40% decrease in the city's crime rate between 2001 and 2009. Specifically, homicide decreased by 57%, rape by 72%, and violent crime overall by 55%. Crime is down across the country, but Atlanta's improvement has occurred at more than twice the national rate. Nevertheless, Forbes ranked Atlanta as the sixth most dangerous city in the United States in 2012. The Atlanta Fire Rescue Department provides fire protection and first responder emergency medical services to the city from its 35 fire stations. In 2017, AFRD responded to over 100,000 calls for service over a coverage area of 135.7 square miles .5 square kilometers. The department also protects Hartsfield-Jackson with five fire stations located on the property, serving over 1 million passengers from over 100 different countries. 
The department protects over 3,000 high-rise buildings, 23 miles kilometers of the rapid rail system, and 60 miles kilometers of interstate highway. Emergency ambulance services are provided to city residents by hospital-based Grady Ems Fulton County, and American Medical Response DeKalb County. The Ems providers provide BLS and ALS care. Education Due to the more than 30 colleges and universities located in the city, Atlanta is considered an important hub for higher education. The Georgia Institute of Technology is one of the most prominent public universities in the nation. It is a major research university located in Midtown that consistently ranks among the nation's top ten public universities for its degree programs in engineering, computing, management, the sciences, architecture, and liberal arts. The University of Georgia, chartered in 1785 and one of the top public research universities in the nation, is approximately an hour away in Athens, Georgia. However, the Atlanta center of its Terry College of Business is located in the Buckhead area of Atlanta, while the university also has a metropolitan Atlanta Gwinnett campus that occupies 60,000 square feet of the IntelliCenter. Georgia State University is a major public research university located in downtown Atlanta. It is the largest of the 29 public colleges and universities in the university system of Georgia and is a significant contributor to the revitalization of the city's central business district. Atlanta is home to nationally renowned private colleges and universities, most notably Emory University, a leading liberal arts and research institution that consistently ranks among the top 25 universities in the United States and operates Emory Healthcare, the largest health care system in Georgia. The Atlanta University Center is also located in the city. It is the largest contiguous consortium of historically black colleges in the nation, comprising Spelman College, Clark Atlanta University, Morehouse College, and Morehouse School of Medicine. Atlanta contains a campus of the Savannah College of Art and Design, a private art and design university that has proven to be a major factor in the recent growth of Atlanta's visual art community. Atlanta also boasts three American Bar Association accredited law schools, Atlanta's John Marshall Law School, Emory University School of Law, and Georgia State University College of Law. 55,000 students are enrolled in 106 schools in Atlanta public schools, some of which are operated as charter schools. The district has been plagued by a widely publicized cheating scandal that was exposed in 2009. Atlanta is served by many private schools, including Roman Catholic parochial schools operated by the Archdiocese of Atlanta. Topic media The primary network affiliated television stations in Atlanta are WXIA TV 11, NBC, WGCL TV 46, CBS, WSB TV 2, ABC, and WAGA TV 5. Fox. Other major commercial stations include WPCH TV 17, WUPA 69, CW, and WATL 36. My Network TV. WAGA TV and WUPA are Network O and O's. The Atlanta metropolitan area is served by two public television stations, both PBS member stations, and one public radio station. WGTV8 is the flagship station of the statewide Georgia Public Television Network, while WPBA is owned by Atlanta Public Schools. Georgia Public Radio is listener-funded and comprises one NPR member station, WAVE, a classical music station operated by Atlanta Public Schools. Atlanta is served by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, its only major daily newspaper with wide distribution. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution is the result of a 1950 merger between the Atlanta Journal and the Atlanta Constitution, with staff consolidation occurring in 1982 and separate publication of the Morning Constitution and Afternoon Journal ceasing in 2001. Alternative weekly newspapers include Creative Loafing, which has a weekly print circulation of 80,000. Atlanta Magazine is an award-winning, monthly general interest magazine based in and covering Atlanta. Topic. Transportation 
Atlanta's transportation infrastructure comprises a complex network that includes a heavy rail rapid transit system, a light rail streetcar loop, a multi-county bus system, Amtrak service via the Crescent, multiple freight train lines, an interstate highway system, several airports, including the world's busiest, and over 45 miles kilometers of bike paths. Atlanta has a network of freeways that radiate out from the city, and automobiles are the dominant means of transportation in the region. Three major interstate highways converge in Atlanta, I-20 east-west, I-75 northwest-southeast, and I-85 northeast-southwest. The latter two combine in the middle of the city to form the downtown connector I-75 85ths, which carries more than 340,000 vehicles per day and is one of the most congested segments of interstate highway in the United States. Atlanta is mostly encircled by Interstate 285, a beltway locally known as the perimeter that has come to mark the boundary between inside the perimeter, ITP, the city and close in suburbs, and outside the perimeter, OTP, the outer suburbs and exurbs. The heavy reliance on automobiles for transportation in Atlanta has resulted in traffic, commute, and air pollution rates that rank among the worst in the country. The city of Atlanta has a higher than average percentage of households without a car. In 2015, 15.2% of Atlanta households lacked a car, and increased slightly to 16.4% in 2016. The national average is 8.7% in 2016. Atlanta averaged 1.31 cars per household in 2016, compared to a national average of 1.8. The Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority MARTA, provides public transportation in the form of buses and heavy rail. Notwithstanding heavy automotive usage in Atlanta, the city's subway system is the eighth busiest in the country. MARTA rail lines connect key destinations, such as the airport, downtown, midtown, Buckhead, and Perimeter Center. However, significant destinations, such as Emory University and Cumberland, remain unserved. As a result, a 2011 Brookings Institution study placed Atlanta 91st of 100 metro areas for transit accessibility. Emory University operates its Cliff Shuttle buses with 200,000 boardings per month, while private minibuses supply Buford Highway. Amtrak, the national rail passenger system, provides service to Atlanta via the Crescent Train New York, New Orleans, which stops at Peachtree Station. In 2014, the Atlanta streetcar opened to the public. The streetcar's line, which is also known as the Downtown Loop, runs 2.7 miles kilometers around the downtown tourist areas of Peachtree Center, Centennial Olympic Park, the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site, and Sweet Auburn. The Atlanta streetcar line is also being expanded on in the coming years to include a wider range of Atlanta's neighborhoods and important places of interest, with a total of over 50 miles 80 kilometers of track in the plan. Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport is the world's busiest airport as measured by passenger traffic and aircraft traffic. The facility offers air service to over 150 U.S. destinations and more than 75 international destinations in 50 countries, with over 2,500 arrivals and departures daily. Delta Air Lines maintains its largest hub at the airport. Situated 10 miles 16 kilometers south of downtown, the airport covers most of the land inside a wedge formed by Interstate 75, Interstate 85, and Interstate 285. Cycling is a growing mode of transportation in Atlanta, more than doubling since 2009, when it comprised 1.1% of all commutes, up from 0.3% in 2000. Although Atlanta's lack of bike lanes and hilly topography may deter many residents from cycling, the city's transportation plan calls for the construction of 226 miles (364 kilometers) of bike lanes by 2020, with the Beltline helping to achieve this goal. In 2012, Atlanta's first bike track was constructed on 10th Street in Midtown. The two-lane bike track runs from Monroe Drive west to Charles Allen Drive, with connections to the Beltline and Piedmont Park. Starting in June 2016, Atlanta received a bike-sharing program, known as Relay Bike Share, with 100 bikes in downtown and Midtown, which expanded to 500 bikes at 65 stations as of April 2017. According to the 2016 American Community Survey, five-year average, 68.6% .6 of working city of Atlanta residents commuted by driving alone, 7% carpooled, 10% used public transportation, and 4.6% walked. 
About 2.1% used all other forms of transportation, including taxi, bicycle, and motorcycle. About 7.6% worked at home. Tree canopy Atlanta has a reputation as a city in a forest due to an abundance of trees that is rare among major cities. The city's main street is named after a tree, and beyond the downtown, midtown, and Buckhead business districts, the skyline gives way to a dense canopy of woods that spreads into the suburbs. The city is home to the Atlanta Dogwood Festival, an annual arts and crafts festival held one weekend during early April, when the native dogwoods are in bloom. The nickname is factually accurate, as vegetation covers 47.9% of the city as of 2017, the highest among all major American cities, and well above the national average of 27%. Atlanta's tree coverage does not go unnoticed. It was the main reason cited by National Geographic in naming Atlanta a place of a lifetime. The city's lush tree canopy, which filters out pollutants and cools sidewalks and buildings, has increasingly been under assault from man and nature due to heavy rains, drought, aged forests, new pests, and urban construction. A 2001 study found that Atlanta's heavy tree cover declined from 48% in 1974 to 38% in 1996. Community organizations and the city government are addressing the problem. Trees Atlanta, a non-profit organization founded in 1985, has planted and distributed over 113,000 shade trees in the city, and Atlanta's government has awarded $130,000 in grants to neighborhood groups to plant trees. Fees are additionally imposed on developers that remove trees on their property per a citywide ordinance, active since 1993. <laughs> Sister cities. Atlanta has 17 sister cities, as designated by Sister Cities International, Inc. Topic: See also List of people from Atlanta Urban forest Topic: Notes and references equals 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 notes <laughs>